Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you guys how I like to fish for burbot. So I'm just going to show you everything you need to know from rods, line, jigs, bait, all that great stuff. So if you want to learn how to catch more burbot, then stay tuned. So what I'll do is I'll go over all my tackle and then I'll go over line, bait, and then I'll go over my rods. So let's get started. So there's lots of lures you can use for burbot. They'll eat lots of things, but one of my favorites is a two and a half inch buzz bomb. This is the orange one right here, and this thing, I've been having some wicked luck with this um, uh, year so far. And then at night time, I like to use this one. It is a uh, glow in the dark one, buzz bomb. This is like a two inch, just a little bit smaller than that orange one, but it also make the buzz bomb also makes a glow one and two and a half inch, and then they make other products like the Zinger, bigger buzz bombs, lots of colors. I actually got like a whole box full. And then these are some big spinos that also work for uh, burbot. One thing about burbot is, especially if you're fishing at dark, is you want to have glow in the dark. And that's why I like to use these buzz bombs for fishing at night. Some other lures I've had some luck with are the blue fox spoons. This is the same one I use for a uh, rainbow trout too. I've been catching some bourbon on this this winter also. I've caught them on little Cleos in the past. I personally haven't caught them on ruby eyes, but I know lots of guys use these ruby eyes for them. This is a three and a half. Another three and a half, three, and then got the smaller one too. And as you can see, lots of colors. And then you come over here, you got the canoe spoons, which are another great choice. You got the Williams wobblers, which come in a variety of sizes. As you can see, this one is wider than, say, this one. So depending on the day, you might, you know, try both or whatever, right? This right here is a uh, real bait flasher jig. These are great, and they're also glow in the dark, and they like they stand up too. So I like that, and then of course you got that little flasher on there, gives some more uh, more action. And of course, you don't need to go fancy or anything. You just use a simple jig head. This is a Northland one. Here's another one. Nothing fancy. Um, Gibbs minnows, they work great. Same thing, they got different colors and sizes. This is the only one I own, but go ahead and check them out. Work great. Uh, soft plastics are another deadly burbot lure. These are black pine creative tubes. And what's this? This, is a, this right here is a, uh, I'm not sure what the jig head is, but it's a Berkeley Havoc soft plastic. I've caught burbot on that this uh, winter also. For soft plastics, you can do anything from small jigs or to ripping it. I've caught them doing both. So there's a wide variety of lures you can try for burbot. And don't be scared to try uh, other products too. So like I said, burbot are uh, not a super hard fish to catch. They bite pretty much anything. All right, let's move on to uh, what line I like to use. So for my main line, I use Power Pro, which is on my reels, so I don't got a spool of it, but. For a leader, I use fluorocarbon. This is stuff I'm using this season, and it's been working pretty good. This is a Seaguar STS 17 pound. Definitely worth checking out. Works great. For bait, I use power bait. This is artificial row, gooey bobs. And then I uh, marinate that in some Pro Cure butt juice, which this stuff's amazing. I've caught so many bourbon on this. And then, so I just marinate in that and then leave her in the fridge till I'm going to go fishing. So definitely, uh, definitely worth trying. For rods, you do not need anything, uh, super fancy. This is, uh, man, I've had this ugly sick 28 inch medium for a super long time. And it's caught lots of burbot. Uh, and then I got a little Fluger President on here. Got 10 pound Power Pro. And that's got a 10 pound Trilene Leader on there. 
It's got a nice soft tip for detecting some soft burbot bites, but it's also got enough backbone, which is what you want. And then this rod right here is a, a 31 inch medium heavy jaw jacker rod. I've only caught, I think, one burbot on it, but caught lake trout on it and it seems to work all right. And then for a reel, I got a, uh, oh, this is a huge reel because I was going to put a smaller reel on this rod, but I ended up using that reel for a different rod or something like that. So I ended up putting this big Okuma on here, and I'm not a big fan of this reel. And I got Power Pro on there too. So my newest rod is this custom rod from Black Pine Creative. And this rod's been working awesome. I got it with a Shimano Cardiff on there with 30 pound Power Pro and some of that. 17 pound fluorocarbon leader and I've caught bourbon on this rod and I've caught 40 inch lake trout on it so these rods are definitely worth checking out this is a 42 inch and that's another Williams wobbler like you guys seen earlier in the video Burbot fishing, in the daytime I like to fish anywhere from 80 to 100 feet, jigging right on bottom. When I jig up, I come off bottom, and then when I jig down, I hit bottom. And that's a deadly technique. Burbot moves shallow at night, anywhere from up to 10 feet or even shallower. So if you're fishing at nighttime, you may want to try some shallower depths for some awesome success. So there's a final look of some of the products I use for a burbot. And like I said, you don't need anything fancy to go and catch some burbot. Just a simple rod and reel and just a couple jigs and some bait. And you can go out and catch yourself some burbot. I hope this video helped you guys learn some stuff about burbot. They're a fun fish to catch. And I wish you luck on your burbot fishing. Thanks for watching. We got fish on it. Feels okay. Digging in here, feet of water here. leader so we got it pretty close. Nice one. That's a keeper. Oh yeah. It's probably a three pounder, eh? Look at that guys. Orange buzz bomb. Nice burbot right there. Oh you're jigging buzz bombs today and we've been on here for about 10 15 minutes, and this is, I think, the sixth one. Insane. Look at that one. Nice. A little better one. Two pounder. Oh, he's a big one, two, three. Buzz bomb. Black pine creative rod. 46 inch. There's a beauty. Perfect combo for leakers and burbot. And the moose antler real seat. That's moose antler, yeah. And of course, got a buzz bomb and a nice eel pout. Alrighty. Got another fish on here. Hopefully this one's a little bigger, eh? Oh yeah, it is. Oh yeah. He's not even, he just looked big, he had a big head. Big head, big fish, nope. <laughs>